about to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Hi guys and welcome back to my channel So I have got another food shopping haul for you today I've actually been to Tesco and I kind of wish I didn't because when I got there I didn't realise that our 24 hours store I knew they'd stopped being 24 hours but I didn't realise they didn't open till 8 and I got there just after 8 because I dropped no before 8 because I dropped Steve at work and I literally had to queue <laughs> it was incredible the queue went all the way around the car park past the hand car wash back round past the recycling bins um, before you could even get into the store and then when I finally got into the store, they've introduced like a one-way system to try and help people, obviously, social distance. So it didn't seem like anyone was paying any attention to it. I was following the arrows and it takes you twice the amount of time, honestly, because every time you forget something, rather than nipping back down an aisle, you have to go <laughs> round and round and round again. So if you are interested in seeing what i got this week and it's not going to offend you or bother you in any way then please keep watching if you'd rather not see my shopping haul then please go and watch something else that does make you feel happy i hope everyone is doing okay i'll take you through it all it's a really big one it's obviously it's the easter weekend and that means that steve is off for four days now yay i get some adult company and we've got some baking we want to do and basically i just don't want to think about shopping for a few weeks after today i'm just completely <laughs> done so next week's so food haul will be probably quite tiny there is an entire playlist of these down below if it's your kind of thing if you want to go back and catch up with some old ones i've also got all my meals of the week down below and we're doing some weekly or like day in the life vlogs at the moment and there'll be a new one of those up on sunday so at the moment my uploads are tuesday thursday and sunday with a few little bonus ones in between so subscribe if you're not already and hit the notification bell and let's go and have a look at my mammoth food shop and then when we've had a look at it i'll take through my meal plan and try and work out how much i spent because i also did shopping for my parents so i need to take that out work out what they spent and then i'll let you know so let's have a look i've laid it all out on my breakfast bar my hand's shaking so i haven't had any breakfast yet <laughs> um i've laid it all out on my breakfast bar because too much to put on the table but like i said I'm really trying, that's it, like to not go again for a couple of weeks or just to go for like a tiny amount of stuff. And with the boys home, it's just constant, isn't it? The eating and the snacking and on mine are really, really good. After the first few days of me offering them fruit in between like lunches and stuff, they sort of gave up a little bit. Now if they're hungry, they will have an apple. But I just feel like it's, let's have a movie or oh, do you want some sweets? You know, let's have lunch or I need some crisps with it. It just feels like they're eating a lot more, so... Anyway, we'll start off with the fresh fruit and veg. I got some grapes, the Suntrail, Suntrail Farms, I can't talk today, some green grapes. I got some white potatoes, some bananas, some sweet apples. I think I got two of these. These were 75p and you get six. Some pears, again, these were really cheap. The Rose Dean Farms, they were 70 something p. I got two lots of mushrooms. We haven't had any for a while and I really fancied some mushrooms. I got one massive like iceberg lettuce it's huge i got some broccoli and some baby plum tomatoes there is some avocados i've got four of these because we're going to be making a salsa and i've just remembered i didn't buy red pepper so i won't be making a red pepper salsa will i um maybe tomato spring onion and avocado instead we'll see cucumbers Peaches, no they're not, they're nectarines. Uh, ripen at home ones, these were £1.25 but they're quite big. A pack of onions, I got some asparagus because they were half price and we're going to be having a Hawaiian chicken and mash and I'll do asparagus with that. Some carrots, Steve really wants me to make carrot cake but I couldn't get any flour so I don't know if I've got enough in the cupboard to make that or not. Um, but if I do I will show you that in a video because I know there's one lady who is still waiting <laughs> for me to do my carrot cake. Um, I didn't get any walnuts. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. If it turns out, it turns out. I might have some walnuts in the cupboard. Anyway, I got some purple sprouting broccoli. This is also to go with the Hawaiian chicken. Uh, another pack of sweet apples. And then chilled stuff. I just got a pack of sausage rolls and some sandwich meats, some ham, wafer thin chicken. There's two of those. Some luncheon meat. Bailey loves that stuff. Some Pilgrim's Choice Extra Mature Cheddar. This was like a pound off. I got two puff pastry like ready rolled. I'm going to be doing 
you know I make my well I don't know if you do know I make sage and onion sausage meat like when we have a roast dinner and I'm actually going to put that in a sausage roll with like some cranberry sauce or some chutney on top and make homemade sausage rolls two cream cheese for the carrot cake that might not happen but if it doesn't I can use these with tomato puree and passata in like a pasta halloumi because I haven't had it for a little while and I do love my halloumi I got two, this is the problem, right? I got two lots of cheese slices, I also got burger rolls, I didn't buy any burgers, I was too busy focusing on the arrows and keeping away from people and I got cheese slices and burger rolls but no burgers so I might have to see, I might be able to make some out of mince anyway. I got some refrigerators, these were £2 for six packs, some cheap pork sausages, if we don't have burgers then I might just use these and cut them in half. The idea is we've got like a little kadak, it's a camping barbecue, because our big barbecue is completely destroyed basically, it's older than Bailey, and obviously we're not going to buy a new one at the moment, so we got our little camping one out and had a barbecue last weekend, just a mini like sausages on it, I'll show you that in Sunday's vlog, um, and you might have seen it on Instagram, but yeah we might do that again, just a simple one with some sausages and maybe some homemade burgers. I've got two lots of boneless chicken thighs for the Hawaiian chicken. And then back around here, I got some oven chips, potato waffles, and chicken dippers. Just stuff to have in the freezer to make life a little bit easier. Hobbs, what are you up to? What are you chewing out there? Oh, it's right, it's got his bone. <laughs> He's in the conservatory, loving the sunshine. Um, I got some light brown sugar again for baking. Two lots of the smoky fajita seasoning because I've got chicken breast in the freezer I've also got mince and I've also got salmon in my freezer so I didn't need very much meat at all uh, I've got some sweet pickle for sandwiches I love ham or cheese and pickle sandwiches tomato puree two passata Bailey is going to be making spaghetti bolognese so I've got one of those for him um, and I also need one for the Hawaiian chicken some rapeseed oil spray because I use this on my pans my non-stick ones, Frylight ruins them. Sorry, Frylight. Some coconut milk for Steve's coffees. Some bold, this wasn't on offer, I think it was like four pound, but I needed washing stuff. I also got some tinned tomatoes, these were the only ones they had, so I got three of those. Some black pepper, because we're completely out. Three tins of pork sausages and beans. The boys really like these with scrambled egg for breakfast. Uh, two tins of baked beans, they only had these no added sugar ones or Heinz and Heinz are just too expensive, I just can't be doing with 85p for a tin of beans, these are 25p, they'll be fine. Tuna chunks, they were actually like £2.80 for four tins, so they'll be good in a pasta bake or like jacket potatoes and sandwiches. I also got one of my Milicano Kenko coffees for 2 50 a bag of pasta, they had a reasonable amount of pasta, still a bit empty but you could get it. Um, three bags of the little cheapy noodles. I got some Marmite, well not Marmite, the Tesco yeast extract. I've just remembered, didn't we do a video before where I bought this and no one actually liked it, but tough, that's what they've got. Some sweet chilli sauce for some salmon I'm making, deodorant, foil. I got two mascaras, this is why it was a little bit expensive actually. Um, I've run out completely of mascara and obviously I'm not going to be popping to Boots or Superdrug or anything so I got this Maybelline Lash Sensational and they are £9 each but they were doing two, two for 12 so I thought I might as well get two because they don't go off so it seems silly for an extra £3 not to get another one. Um, just a cheap foil, I don't know if I've already said that. Some acid reflux, I actually went to the chemist in Tesco and to get some Renistadine ones. She said they've been sold out for a long time. So I got these, these were like five pound. So Steve's off was really bad with heartburn. Oh, I'm out of breath now. Uh, two links because we're having a lot of arguments over who used whose shower gel. Oh, I don't know, three boys, it's worse than the girls, honestly. Got some little dog treats uh, for the dogs, obviously. Got some of these, these are really good, they are like fizzy sweets in a tub there's 200 grams in there it doesn't look it but there's like it's sort of like a large bag of haribo and they're reduced to 50p so i've got some of those for like movies i've got a massive sunflower oil i only wanted a tiny bottle because we don't use pouring oil like at all hardly in anything um but i needed some for the carrot cake again and they only had this massive one so i got one of those it'll just last forever it is bank holiday so i've got two bottles of wine i've got a merlot and then this turner road Merlot also, 
Um, I also bought some beers which are out in the hallway. Funnily enough, I bought Corona, which felt really odd buying the beer named Corona, but it is our favourite beer if we drink beer. So they're quite nice cold in the fridge with some lime. Some toilet tissue. I got 12 bottles of Corona, that was £10. I got some zip seal food bags and some tie handle bags. New trays, new oven trays, they were doing a really good deal. These big ones, and they're sort of the deeper ones, they're the Pyrex make, and they were, how much were these ones? These were £4 instead of 10 so I've got two of those, because I think that's a really good price, and mine could really do replacing. And then these ones, I've got two of those as well, these sort of flatter ones, and these should have been £8, and they were £3, so I've got two of those as well. I need to check the receipt, make sure they were. Um, but I thought that was a really good price, and I really needed to replace them, and they were just on like the end of an aisle, I saw them and thought, ooh, new tins got some chocolate chip brioches uh the boys toast these for breakfast burger rolls for the non-burgers cheese scones i absolutely love cheese scones uh somebody said that they make them like all the time i don't really make my own but i would like to so if anyone's got a you know secret recipe then please let me know because i absolutely love them so does my mum anyway basically these were 90p for four so I've got some Frosted Flakes cereals, very scarce actually, and it's limited to two per customer, whereas everything else I think is three per customer. And also there is no offers on at all. Like there's offers on lots of things, but not cereal. So I've got these two anyway. Um, a loaf of bread. This is the best of both, like Tesco's own version. Two wraps because we just use them all the time. Cheese and garlic flatbreads. These were two for two fifty, and I'm going to be making. Rolling over a meal from last week, it's like a Mexican pasta bake thing. I got four raspberry and Belgian white chocolate hot cross buns. I got two lots of those, they were two for, I think, £2 or £2.50. Um, last week, the week before, when I went to Lidl, I got the double chocolate ones, which were amazing, toasted, and I thought these sounded nice as well. Crumpets, just for cheese and marmite, or non-marmite, that they're probably all going to moan about. Converse, these were 50p for five. And these jalapeno and sour cream snacks were also 50p. Rice cakes, we absolutely love these. Cheese spread, ham, egg mayonnaise on. Really good lunches. Very very filling and quite low in calorie. And they're quite high in fibre. So I got three of those in 99p, I think. Yes. Hula hoop puffs, I got six of those. They're a pound. We eat these with our coffee sometimes. Steve and I, these Maria biscuits and they're normally a pound they were 50p two boxes of those i also got some belvita crunchy breakfast biscuits there's six packets in there some forest fruit crispy slices and some clubs does anyone remember the advert i'm not going to sing it about yeah i'm not going to sing it i was so tempted does anyone remember the song that goes with it if you like a lot of chocolate on your biscuit join our club oh it takes me back anyway and then this cinema mix, I suppose no one's going to the cinema, so no one seems to be buying it, but this was also 50p. And that is everything. So I will go through my meal plan now and work out how much I spent. It was quite a lot because obviously the mascara, we got wine, we got beer, we got heartburn tablets, um, pans and things. But yeah, that is everything. So let me take you through what we're going to have next week. Right, so for my meal plan this week, we have rolled over the creamy Mexican pasta bake. We're going to be having that tonight because we just didn't get around to it last week. And then I'm going to be doing a Hawaiian chicken. There's a recipe up for this in one of my slow cooker videos. I think it was part two. Anyway, I'm going to do that in the slow cooker with mash and broccoli and tender stem broccoli. Uh, I've got some salmon in the freezer, so I'm going to do some sweet chilli salmon with some couscous because everybody's got packets of Ainsley Harriet couscous in their cupboard, haven't they? I mean, it's just one of those things you have <laughs> at the back. I seem to have about five packets from four years ago. And I'm going to be making that with a salsa. I've just found a red pepper in my fridge, so all is good there. And Bailey is going to be making spaghetti bolognese. Last week, Jake made pizza. And I'm going to try and get the boys to make one dish a week as part of, like, home learning. I'm going to be doing homemade sage and onion sausage roll. I'm sure our school will like to help with that. And I think we'll probably serve that with like homemade wedges and baked beans. We're going to have like um, a mid-afternoon barbecue with sausages. And I'm going to see if I've either got burgers in the freezer or I've got lots of mints so I could make some. 
and then we're going to be having a mince or Steve and I'll be having mince with like cauliflower rice and vegetables so tomatoes mushrooms spring onions maybe some asparagus and things um, just to have a bit of a healthish dinner and the pasta bake for tonight so and then that night the boys will probably have some nuggets and waffles or something really really easy so that is our meal plan for next week Right, so that is it for this week and I spent £140, just under, it's like £139, which is a little bit over my normal like maximum budget because my maximum is usually about £120, but we have bought extra like wine and beer and like tablets and things postman <laughs> tablets and things for like over the bank holiday and i've tried to stock up so next week's will definitely be a lot lower and my previous week's been quite low as well it's all swings and roundabouts and it kind of balances out in the end anyway so i hope you all have a nice easter weekend and please message me if you feel like you need someone to talk to and check us out on sunday for our day in the life vlog or our weekly vlog and make sure to subscribe for more of these videos meals of the week and also weekly vlogs and I will see you guys very, very soon in our next one. This is what we were eating.